Hey everyone, I'm Necha Sun and this is my very first video, so please bear with me. I'm sure I'm going to get better after a while, but, you know, this is my first one. Anyways, you're probably going to see me looking off to the side. It's only because I can't remember everything I wrote down. Like I said, I hope to improve this, but again, bear with me. So today I'm going to be talking about Hidden Figures. It was released on Friday. Uh, January 6th and when I went to the theater it was actually already sold out for shows like at 7 30 so I ended up going to the very very last one at 10 30 p.m. which wasn't too bad it wasn't crowded but I was so thrilled to see that there were so many people watching this movie I didn't think anyone would actually go see it I wanted to see it personally because um, I thought it would inspire women to pursue the sciences and I think it it probably succeeded in that as well. I'm also a huge fan of Jim Parsons, who stars in this movie. You may also know him as Sheldon in The Big Bang Theory. And I think I wasn't the only one, because as soon as he had showed up on the screen, there was people already giggling and pointing. So all the Big Bang Theory fans were out there to support him. So that was nice, too. This movie is about um, three African-American women who pretty much um, had to face it, um, you know, racism due to the color of their skin, and not just that, but their gender as well. You can imagine in a room full of engineers and, you know, people who are in charge of NASA were mostly male-dominated, so it didn't help that they were not only female, but also African-American, so it was tough to watch to see all the racism back then, but I it gets better, because you see that um, they start to notice that people are like, okay, we need a, we have a goal. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what gender you are. We need to get this done. So it was a nice movie. Um, it's also based on the true story of Katherine Johnson. She's um, played by Taraji Henson, and I thought she did a really good job. And it's actually really true everything that they show in the movie. She was very young when she went to high school. I believe she was six years old or something like that. Like. Nah. Well, anyway, she was really, really young when she went to high school, and she was really, really smart. And they did show that little backstory, which I didn't think they would, but they did, so that was cool. Um, also in this movie, you have Octavia Spencer. You might know her from The Help. Uh, she's really good at playing the sassy, strong woman, so she was right in her comfort zone, and she did really, really well. She played Dorothy, and... Um, I thought it was uh, interesting to see her character. I thought they were going to focus on Catherine more, but they focused on all three of them, so that was really good. Um, I wish they would have shown that more in the trailer. In the trailer, you kind of just see Catherine, and you think it's only about her, but it's actually about all three of them. And um, it was really interesting because they all pursued different sections of NASA, where Catherine is in charge of... They call her the computer, so she's just in charge of making all the mathematical data in terms of where the, you know, spacecrafts are going to launch and land. So that's interesting. And then you have Octavia Spencer's character, Dorothy, who's mostly in charge of um, doing, also, comp they do mathematical stuff too, but she's like acting as a supervisor, but they're not giving her the title or the pay. So she's just, you know playing her character as, you know, I'm doing the job, give me the pay in the, in the title. And um, I love seeing her character and how tough she is and how she, you know, is polite so that, she, you know, she doesn't get in trouble, but yet she stands her ground. And she notices that they bring in this huge computer for those youngsters. Computers were actually a, a room size. They're not these tiny little computers back then called IBM. And it was going to pretty much take over the job of Dorothy, Octavia Spencer's character. So, But she was smart. She knew it was coming up. So she went to the library, researched on IBM, the IBM computer so that when they say, oh, we don't need you anymore, well, I know how to use the computer so you can still use me for something. I thought that was very, very smart. And not only that, she wasn't selfish. She actually taught other women in her department the same thing because she knew what was coming. That computer was going to replace them completely. So it was really cool to see her side of the story. The other character was um, played by Janelle Monet, and she played Mary. 
and she wanted to actually be the first not only female but african-american female to become an engineer but you'll see throughout the movie they were trying to do whatever they can to prevent her from becoming an engineer they would say oh you all you need is this education and she had it but then they noticed oh well she wants to apply let's uh add more stuff to the curriculum and they added an addendum that wouldn't allow her to become an engineer but she was like no screw that because she's really tough character she was really fun and very inspirational and you're like I'm a woman but shoot I could do whatever I want so she actually went to court to try to get the authorization to go to school she does and that scene is just impressive and just overall badass so I thought Janelle did a good job I was really worried about her because I only know her as a singer I didn't know she could act and she did really good she did really good um Al Harrison was played by Kevin Costner. He was very subtle, like, he was powerful and you felt his presence, but he, he didn't have to overact. And I thought that was really good. He played it very well. And it puts things into perspective during a time where pretty much his number one goal was to beat Russia in this whole space war that was going on because Russia already had launched Sputnik and I think I said that right, I'm not sure. And they also released um, the first man to orbit Earth. So we were already falling behind. So, you know, the president was putting pressure on Kevin Costner's character to make sure that we also get our men out there in orbit and quite possibly be the first to land on the moon. So the pressure was on. But even though he had the bad, the, well, not the mad power, but the, the brilliant people in his staff to do it, the problem was that, number one, they were either female or African-American. And in this case, Katherine Johnson was, like, one of the best mathematicians there. So she wasn't always given full access to information, so she couldn't do her job properly. And things kept changing, so she had to keep starting over. And you also see scenes where, you know, they were still segregated, where they had their, they had to go to their own restrooms and... They had their own colored coffee section, and it was just, it was hard to watch. But when she stands up for herself, you feel really good about it. Or you're cheering her on, because you didn't do anything. I don't know why you'd feel good about it. But it was impactful. And again, Jim Parsons also in here as Paul. And uh, he plays one of the people in the same team as Catherine. But he's still, you know, racist. And sexist. I thought that was the biggest thing. It was more sexist than anything else. And, you know, you can't help but see him as Sheldon. And it still works because Sheldon's a bit of a jerk and a know-it-all. And that's how he is here. But, um, he did a good job at making you hate him at, in the beginning of the movie. Because later on he, he changes. So that's cool. And, um, this movie was actually directed by Theodore Melfi. He also directed St. Vincent. Now, before watching this movie, I decided to watch St. Vincent because I've never seen Theodore's work. And I was looking forward to this movie even more after it because he tends to be, um, to take risks in terms of cinematography. Most directors just like to take tight, close shots and then really depend on the dialogue and it gets kind of boring and he makes you feel stupid when they try to lay it down for you like this character is sad because say this line so people know you're sad I'm sad you know and it's stupid but he's not like that um he tended to make sure to depend on the actors like their subtleties and I'm pretty sure most of it was probably ad-libbed but he depended on their acting and focus on their acting so he wasn't like laid out in front of you you just picked up on subtle things and I, I really like that I think the only thing if I were really to nitpick is that he tended to use a lot of the blur effects like when say he would blow my background and focus on me and then switch and at times it was a little too much but other than that I think his choices of, of angles and where to position the characters was really really good so kudos to him i was worried about the dialogue because writer was allison 
Shrouder, and she's known more for, you know, comical stuff. So I was like, okay, we'll see, because I kind of want this to be serious for the most part. Like, and it wasn't too bad. It was to the point, and there were some fun little smart jokes in there, so I liked that very much. She did a good job. Um, like I said, I, I really hope that this movie would inspire more women to pursue the science because right now it seems like we are getting better obviously but it'd be nice to have more women in higher fields or more male dominated careers so and we do need to advance more so why not have women in there i would think it'd be really cool if we did and i think this movie did the trick when i was waiting in line because i had to wait like three hours Every now and then I'd like walk to where people who just saw the movie would be saying and you can hear people just, they just would walk out quietly. Like one man I just saw and he was just like, oh, that movie, that, man, that movie. <laughs> and I'm like, was that a good thing or a bad thing? Part of me feels like when I make that face he made, it's because it made you think like, wow, things were like that back then, that's really messed up. Or, that was a really good movie, but it was hard to tell. And then a lot of people were like, that was a good movie. Oh my God, that was a good movie. Wow. And then some people were actually happy with the movie, so I'm glad. And when I saw it, I had the same reaction. I thought, I was really mad in the parts where they were very racist and sexist. And I, <laughs> of course, you're supposed to feel that way. But it makes you feel like, we got to make sure this never happens again. Because that was just ignorant and dumb and... We should never do that. We should all, we're all just one race, the human race. So we should just make sure we stay together. And I think that this movie came out at a good time since the election. It seems like everybody's kind of split, but this movie came out at a good time. We can all be together. We can all succeed and advance if we work together. So I thought that was a really good message. It was a really good movie. It was funny and it didn't feel like it dragged. I think it just was very smoothly and very well done. I really hope that it gets nominated for an Oscar because I thought even the cast did an amazing job. Everything they said and did was subtle and not over the top. So I really hope that it continues to do well. And um, I hope that uh, if you haven't seen it, you should really go see it. Uh, it's maybe not for kids, obviously, but Definitely for adults, you should go see it. And uh, if you're into fashion, I thought the costumes were really, really nice. I wanted some of those dresses. I don't even wear dresses. So it was really good. And if I had to rate it from 1 to 10, 10 being the best, I would say it was a 8 out of 10. I haven't given a movie an 8 out of 10 in a long time. You can ask anyone that knows me. I'm very picky when it comes to my movies. But this was a really, really good movie. Definitely go see it. I recommend it. I wouldn't wait for it to come out on um, Blu-ray. Go see it in the theater. It's worth the money. Um, and then when it comes out, buy it also. <laughs> and definitely if you do have, you know, sisters or daughters, take them to go see it. You never know. They could be the next physicist or engineer and that would be really awesome. So thanks for watching my first video. I promise I'll get better at this. Thanks. Bye.